Now, as it relates to the incentives, because they were characterized as $3 million in reachable incentives for OBJ, uh, we got the formula yesterday, and, and they are reachable. And, and here's how it goes. I'll defer to what we wrote at PFT. I'm not going to get into the weeds here. It goes up based upon number of catches, receiving yards, and touchdowns. It maxes out at a million if he has 60 catches or if he leads the team in catches. Another million if he has 1,000 receiving yards or if he leads the team in receiving yards. And another million if he has nine receiving touchdowns or if he leads the team in receiving touchdowns. Now, look, we've talked about this in the past. When he went to the Rams, I thought it was great that his incentives were based on team achievement, right. not personal achievement. They're taking a risk here. They're tying $3 million to him getting more balls thrown his way than any other player, outdoing all the other receivers, outperforming Mark Andrews or any running back that may be getting a bunch of catches. He needs the most catches. He needs the most yards. He needs the most touchdowns to get that $18 million. But if he does, if he does, he's getting the $18 million. Yeah, no, and I, I, it's not a crazy thought to think he can get, you know, all three, two of the three, one of the three. You know, like you said, though, Mark Andrews is there. He's going to be the name. He's going to be, you know, a, a lot of that playbook still going to be going to him there in that situation. It's not a guarantee he hits these incentives. He's got the type of talent. We know that. But yeah, what's this offense going to look like? Are they going to open it up more in the passing game? Is there going to be some more creative ideas? Those are all things I think we need to see. Um, but, but I think the, the 15 million here for me, at least speaks enough and, I don't think he was getting anything close to that, as you said earlier in the week, to where that is enough there. And then the rest of this is just a little icing on the top of the cake just to, you know, make it look a little bit better or give you a little incentive that way. But, yeah, hopefully this is not a problem or becomes give me the ball because of that extra $3 million. I agree with you because he does have the $15 million in hand. Yeah. Far more than anyone was going to get. Right. I think the Jets were going to be somewhere between three and six base with a lot more in incentives. And again, it's not healthy for the team if you have a guy who is obsessed with his touches, with his targets, with his catches, with his yardage, with his touchdowns. That's not healthy. But in this case, because he's got the $15 million in hand, the $3 million isn't as big of a deal. But still, still, yeah. it's $3 million bucks. It's yeah. $3 million more than he made last year. Last year, he made zero because he played for no one last year as he recovered from the ACL tear. So it's still $3 million bucks. Yep. And, and and maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign that they are going to pivot toward more of a pass-based offense here. It's good for Lamar Jackson, for his career, for his longevity. Like Steve Young and Steve McNair, at some point they had to pivot from guys who relied on their legs to guys who were traditional pocket passers to extend their careers. Yep. Lamar Jackson has to get away from planned intentional design runs to passing the ball more often to extend his career and here's a weapon hey, let's make it happen you want to lay the foundation for your rest of the rest of your career let's do this deal let's get in here and let's do it. and i think that's what today is today is that big giant magnet to get lamar jackson to sign and show up Chris. yeah yeah could be and then you know you just you look at like oh okay wait we got the draft coming up and right there they might be able to get him another shiny magnet to go hey we got this player or you know we got another offensive weapon in the first two rounds here that you know maybe uh make you want to come here more and show you that yeah, we're, we are looking for, you know, people to support you. So we'll see where this all goes, but I think this is a positive, you know, first step and sign for the Ravens, Lamar Jackson. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from pro football talk.